Hey, greetings, wonderful science students. Today, I'm gonna tell you a little story. And as I tell you the story, pause the story every once in a while to sketch out what you're imagining the scenes, the characters of the story look like. Yes, this is a science story. It's gonna be a silly one and uh, we'll make sense of it and uh, tomorrow or the next day, okay? So all, right, all good stories start with the same words. Once upon a time. So once upon a time, there was this guy named Stan. And like every other Stan I've ever known in my life, his nickname was Stan the Man. All his friends called him Stan the Man. His family members, everyone called him Stan the Man. And one day while he was out with his buddies, he realized, um, hey, Stan the Man, your nickname's kind of long. And when we say it really fast, it sounds like Stan the Man, Stan the Man, Stan the Man. So they shortened his nickname to Stamen. S-T-A-M-E-N. So it's kind of like Stan the Man, but saying it really fast, Stamen. So his buddies would start calling him Stamen. Every once in a while they still call him Stan the Man, but Stamen became his nickname. Something interesting about Stan, Stan the Man, was that he um, he had antlers growing out of his head. Antlers. <laughs> and um, everyone just said, that's Stan the Man. Look, look at his antlers. Something else about Stan the Man that you, need to, that you need to know is that he liked this girl. And this girl that he liked, he, he didn't know her name. He just saw her from the distance and really, really liked her. And he just came up with a name for her because he didn't know her, her name and he was too shy to, to talk to her. And so he just called her Style because she had a lot of style. So Stan the Man, Stan, Stan, liked this girl named Style. And he only saw her from the distance, never talked to her called her style because she had a lot of style. Now something I need to tell you about style, besides her having a lot of style, is that she had a problem with her eyes. She had a stigmatism, stigmatism. And which, you know, that's okay, stigmatism, that's fine. But besides having the stigmatism, she also, everywhere she went, she carried a pistol. So there's this girl that he likes, Likes her a lot. She has a lot of style. Good looking gal. Has some vision problems, a stigma, and carries a pistol. I don't know about you, but I don't know if I'd be liking some girl who carries a pistol around with her all the time, but this gal did. And Stan the Man really liked her. Well, Stan the Man had a bunch of brothers. And all of the brothers were named Stan. Can you believe it? So there was Stan, 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 Stan. All these guys named Stan, and all their nicknames, just like Stan the Man, were Stan the Man, and all of their nicknames got shortened to Stan the Man, Stan the Man, Stan it real fast, Stamen. And so there's this guy, he has antlers out of his head, he's got a bunch of brothers, they're all named Stan, just like him, and they all have antlers grown out of their head too. You might want to pause the video a few times to catch up on the writing here. Okay, So maybe you have a bunch of drawings of Stan, antlers going on his head. You have this girl named Style who has a vision problem and she carries a pistol. All right, pick up the story. So one day, Stan the man got this idea. I am going to talk to Style. I'm gonna do it. And so he came up with this idea. Ah, Style likes my parents. And so what I'll do is I'll put a picture of my dad, a big 8x10 picture on one antler of my dad, and take an 8x10 picture of my mom and put on the other antler. And then when I walk up to her, she'll think it's my parents, and then she'll talk to me. So this idea is going around his brain because I'm going to do this. So he gets a picture of his dad and a picture of his mom. So his mom's name is Lynn. So he gets a big picture of Lynn's face and puts it on one antler. And then his dad's name is Paul and gets a big picture of Paul and puts it on the other antler. So his brothers are watching him go, what are you doing? He goes, I'm gonna go talk to Style today. So he walks up to Style. He's got the picture of Lynn on one antler, picture of Paul on the other. And he walks up to her and she says, Lynn, Paul, is that you? And Stan goes, I can't lie to you. No, it's not Lynn and Paul, it's, it's their son, Stan. I just wanted to talk to you. 
And she goes, whatever are you doing with the pictures of Lynn and Paul and your antlers? And he said, exactly, I just wanted to talk to you. And she goes, oh, that's really nice. She goes, hey, could you do me a favor since we're talking? Could you ask your parents if they'd like to come over to my house for dinner tonight? Because I'd like them to come over. And Stan goes, sure, I'll ask them. Can I come too? And she said, no. Well, Stan goes home and all his brothers were watching and they got the same idea. They go, it worked for Stan, we're gonna do it too. So Stan, 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 all put pictures of Lynn and Paul on their antlers. And they all walk up to Style and they say, Style. And Style looks at him and says, why are you calling me Style? And whatever are you doing with those pictures of your parents on your antlers? And they say, well, we just want to talk to you. And she says, all right, all right, all right. Well, since we're talking, can you do me a favor? Can you please ask your parents, Lynn and Paul, to come over to my house for dinner? I'd like to have them over. And Stan, 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 and Stan all said, sure, can we come too? And Stan said, no. As it played out, Stan, Stan, Stan told Lynn and Paul, Stan want to have them over for dinner. So Lynn and Paul go over to Stan's house for dinner. And as they're walking up to Stan's house, they realize, wow, this house is kind of interesting. You know, some houses, you know, they have like things in their front yard, like maybe bikes or skateboards or scooters sometimes out in the front yard. Well, Stiles' house didn't have bikes in her front yard, not at all. Stiles' house just had a whole bunch of pedals around her house. All around her house were these pedals. And Lynn and Paul said, hmm, that's interesting. But, you know, Stiles' house. We'll just go ahead and go on up to the front door. So as they went up to the front door, they realized as they stood at the entry of the foot do front door, Lynn and Paul's feet got stuck on the entryway, like stuck, and they couldn't move. And then the front door just opened up and Lynn and Paul just slowly started like entering the house. Their feet weren't moving. They're just kind of like sliding into the front of Styles' house. And the entryway of Styles' house, there was this big, huge hallway. And Lynn and Paul, they weren't walking, they were just like sliding, they couldn't help it, just standing up, but their feet were stuck, and they were just sliding all the way down like the longest hallway you could ever imagine. And this hallway just kept on going and going and going and going for Lynn and Paul looking at each other, like, what is going on here? And finally, at the end of the hallway, it opened up into this big round room. And Lynn and Paul, when they got in the round room, they just kind of looked around, couldn't believe it. And Lynn kept saying, oh, very nice. Oh, very nice. And Paul couldn't help himself. Paul looked around the room and said, oh, very nice. Oh, very nice. And so Lynn and Paul are in this big round room in Styles' house, looking around, just continually saying, oh, very nice. Oh, very nice, over and over and over again. Well, Stahl comes in. She says, oh, Lynn and Paul, I'm so glad you're here. I'd like you to meet my parents. And so her parents come out and she said, um, Lynn and Paul, these are my parents. Um, this is my, um, my dad, Yule, and this is my mom, Ova. And Lynn and Paul said, oh, hi, Yule, hi, Ova. And they got along great. They got along really great. And hours went by and Lynn and Paul were having such a great time with Style and Yule and Ova, and they were just like hanging out. Time goes by, and Stan, 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 Stan are at home, and they're wondering, where's mom and dad? And they woke up the next day, and Lynn, mom and dad still aren't home. So Stan, 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 Stan decided, let's go over to Style's house and find out what's going on. So Stan, 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 all with their antlers, go walking over to Style's house. And as they get closer and closer to Styles' house, they start noticing something. One by one, their antlers start falling off. And by the time they get to Styles' house, all of their antlers are gone. Stan, 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 and Stan, they've all lost their antlers. They get to Styles' house and they're looking around going, huh, this looks different than I remember it. And Styles' house, all the petals that are around her house, are gone. All the petals are gone. And then as they look up at her house, like 
her house is even gone. There's only like this big round room left where the whole house was once. And they just think, where are our parents? And as they approach this big round room, they look around and stand, 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 and stand. Look at Stan the man, the oldest of the brothers, and he goes, you know what? This is a pretty seedy neighborhood. The end. We'll make sense of this. We need to listen to this story again. Go ahead. But you should have sketches of Stan the Man and antlers and style and the antlers with linen ovas or linen Paul's pictures on there and Style's house and the pedals around the house and this long hallway. And anyway, you get the idea. Enjoy. We'll talk about this. We'll make some sense out of this.